हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग जाबुलकर अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन वेरियस कांसेप्ट्स इन सेल्फोर्स वी हैव सीन यूजर्स रोल्स पब्लिक ग्रुप्स क्यूज प्रोफाइल पेज लेआउट एंड फील्ड लेवल सिक्योरिटी आल्सो वी हैव सीन एग्जांपल फॉर दिस राइट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन मोर कांसेप्ट दैट इज परमिशन सेट नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ परमिशन सेट सो सी ऑन गूगल इफ यू सर्च सेल्फोर्स परमिशन सेट सो हियर ऑन देयर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट here you will find what is the meaning of permission set so see i have opened this link and here it is mentioned permission set is a collection of settings and permissions that give users access to various tools and function so see what is the meaning of permission sets permission set is a collection of settings and permissions it is a collection of settings and permissions and that give users access to the various tools and functions permission sets extend users functional access without changing their profiles and are the recommended way to manage users permission now what is the meaning of this permission set is collection of settings and permissions and that give special permissions to the users now see one user can have one profile right one user can have exactly one profile but that user can have zero to many permission sets that user can have zero to many permission sets now see one user or every user can have one profile okay compulsorily it will have one profile but permission set it may have zero it is not mandatory to have permission set and also it can have many permission sets one permission set to access one app another permission set to access some another app likewise so we may have multiple permission set and we can allocate this permission sets to user so one user can have one profile exactly one profile and it may have zero to many permission sets now see what we will do we will take one problem statement and from that it will be very clear now see what we have we have two users test two user and test three user so these two users have the exactly same profile that is standard platform user and i have changed setting for this profile so that they don't have access for the my app too that means by using this profile this users cannot access my app too now see what we will do we will create permission set and by that permission set we will allow access to app my app to to test three user now see both the users they have the same profile right as this profile is not allowing access to my app too both these users cannot have access to my app too now what we will do we will create one permission set and that permission set will provide permission to access my app to for this user so we will create one permission set and that permission set we will allocate to test three user now see so here i have logged in through administrator now see we will go to setup here we will search users now see so we have this test two user and test three user right and they have same profile standard platform user and little bit i have changed this profile here you can see by this profile we have access to my app 1 but we don't have access to my app 2 so as both the users here you can see as both the users have same profile that is standard platform user and by this profile we are not allowing access to my app 2 both these users will not have access to my app too we will see what will do will log out and we'll check so see this is user 2 here you can see there is my app 1 but there is no my app 2 because for this profile we have not given access to my app 2 right now see again we will get login by user 3 so for test 3 user here you can see there is my app 1 but there is no access to my app 2 because for that profile we have not given permission to access my app 2 now see out of this two users test 2 user and test 3 user what i want test 3 user should have access to my app 2 but some other user those have the same profile they should not access my app 2 but test 3 user should have access to my app 2 so it is possible by using permission set now see we will again log in by admin profile so see
now see we will create one permission set and that permission set will give access to the my app too we will click on setup here in quick find we will search permission set here it is written permission sets okay under manage users here it is written permission sets so we will click on this now see there are some predefined permission sets now see what we want we have to create new permission set to access my app too so see we will click on new here we will give name permission set to access my app to api name some default api name we will click on save ok now see so by this permission set what we want we want to give access to my app to right what permissions we can give by using this permission set so see here it is written you can assign some apps assign connected apps, object settings, app permissions, apex class access, visual force page access, external data source access, flow access, named credential access, custom permissions, custom metadata types, custom setting definition. So all those permissions we can provide by this permission set. Here what we want, we want to give permission to app my app to, right? So here, here it is written assigned apps. So setting that specify which apps are visible in the app menu right so we'll click on this assign apps now see to which app we want to give permission my app to right so here we have button edit right so we'll click on edit okay now see we want to give permission to access my app to right so here we'll click on add button so here we have added my app to right now we'll click on save Now see, we have created this permission set, but up till now, we have not allocated this permission set to any user, right? What we will do now, we will allocate this permission set to user 3. Now see, for that purpose, what we have to do, here we have one button, manage assignments. Here you can see, here we have one button, manage assignments. So we will click on this button, manage assignments. Now see, here we will click on add assignment. Okay, now see, so to whom we want to allocate, we want to allocate to test 3, test 3 user, right? So I have selected this checkbox, next, and assign. Okay, so we have allocated this permission set to test 3 user, right? Now we will click on done. See. So here you can see permission set to access my app to and to whom we have located test 3 user, right? See, here if we search users, manage users, so here you can see we have allocated to test 3 user, right? This, this user. Now see, if I click on this, so here you can see for this user we have given one permission set, permission set assignments. With permission set, we have located permission set to access my app too. Later on, if you want, we can also delete this permission set. Or if you want to assign more permission sets, that also we can do by this option, edit assignment. So suppose all these are the available permission set. And if any permission set that we want to provide, so that also we can allocate like this. We have to click on this add button and by this we can allocate permission sets to this user. Okay, so here we have seen for this test 3 user, we have allocated one permission set that is permission set to access to my app too, right? Now see, we will log out. Now we will check whether that test 3 user has access to my app too or not. Now see, we will get login. Now see, so here we have logged in and here we have access to my app too. See, if I click on this, so in this way we have created one permission set to access my app too and that permission set we have allocated to test 3 user. So in this way we can use permission sets. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.